so dear students uh, here in this class uh, i am discussing an important properties of triangles okay of standard 9 mathematics okay understand and we know the sum of the three sides of a triangle what is equal to 180 degree it is one of the most important properties of triangle this is known as angle sum property of triangle another property of triangle i am discussing here okay and prove that the sum of the two sides of a triangle the sum of the two sides of triangle yield always is always greater than its third side okay this is another important property of triangle okay understand this is one of the theorem also prove that the sum of the two sides of triangle is always greater than its third side understand or not okay and because this property is mostly useful for the purpose of purpose of construction of triangle understand or not suppose three sides are given and you are asked to find out to construct the triangle with the help of the given three sides first of all you will check it first to check this property if the sum of two take any two sides take any two sides and find the sum and if the sum is greater than the third side then it is possible to construct such a triangle with the given sides if this condition fails then it is almost impossible it is quite impossible it is never possible to construct such a triangle with the given sides understand or not suppose i am giving one triangle suppose a triangle is given to construct one is suppose side is 4 cm and it is suppose 3 cm and it is given suppose suppose it is given 9 cm 9 cm look at here three sides are given can you construct the triangle three sides are given okay one is 4 cm another is 3 cm another is 9 cm can you construct a triangle okay first of all you have to check what to check using this property you have to take any two sides and and add the any two sides and if the value is greater than the third side then it is possible to construct such a triangles with the given sides but you see here you see here 4 plus 3 what 4 plus 3 is equal to what 7 7 what is less than 9 okay you see interesting you see the 4 plus 3 i am taking this side and this side okay and the sum of 4 and 3 is 7 and 7 is less than 9 it fails it is not possible to construct such a triangle you see and you can add 4 and 9 4 plus 9 is equal to what 13 is greater than 3 this okay it is true this condition is satisfying or we can take 9 and 3 9 12 greater than what 4 is also true but this condition fails this condition fails here 4 plus 3 is 7 okay is less than 9 so if one condition fails if any one of the condition fails see other two condition is satisfying any one of the condition fails in such a cases it is not possible to construct such a triangle with a given size understand so this is one of the most important theorem and properties of the triangle and you try okay let's see the statement to be verified to be proved let's see how to prove the statement okay for that we have to draw a triangle first of all a triangle is given let us draw a triangle let us draw a triangle okay let us draw a triangle is it clear let us draw a triangle understand Let us draw a triangle. Is it clear? Here you are drawing a triangle. Yes. Let us draw a triangle. Give the name A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C is a triangle. Okay. Given A, B, C is a triangle. Yes or no? So, given a b c is a triangle understand 
ट्रायंगल एंड व्हाट टू प्रूव व्हाट टू प्रूव फर्स्ट टू प्रूव व्हाट ए बी प्लस ए सी मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन व्हाट बी सी एज अनो ओके सिमिलरली सेकंड पॉइंट ए बी प्लस बी सी ई ग्रेटर देन व्हाट थर्ड साइड इज ए सी एंड थर्ड पॉइंट बी सी प्लस ए सी मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन ए बी सो दिस थ्री कंडीशन शुड बी सेटिस्फाइड इफ एनी वन ऑफ द कंडीशन फेल्स देन द प्रॉपर्टी फेल्स इज अ नो अंडरस्टैंड आर नॉट ओके सो फॉर दिस व्हाट विल हैव टू प्रूव फर्स्ट वी हैव टू प्रूव ए बी प्लस ए सी इज देन बी सी ओके व्हाट विल डू फॉर दैट सो वन कंस्ट्रक्शन इज इक्वर फॉर दैट यू सी वी हैव टू प्रूव ए बी लुक एट वन ए बी एंड ए सी सो हियर एज द कॉमन वर्टिक्स understand and opposite vertex to h b c understand what you will do now the side b a is produced the side b a is produced up to d the side b a is produced up to d such that such that a d is equal to a c and join what c d is it clear construction Or so, what is the construction? You see, look at here. Look at here. Here AB plus AC is greater than BC. Here AB plus AC. What is the common vertex? A. And B and C are the other two vertex. You see, AB and AC common vertex A vertex. So since A vertex, one of the side B has been produced has been extended up to D. So So that A D is equal to C and C D is joined. Okay, understood construction. So what is the construction here? B A is produced, is extended, is extended up to what? D. Such that, such that A D is equal to what? A C. A D is equal to A C. A D is equal to A C. Look at once again. Let us take here the D point. Okay. Understand or not? Now let us join this one. This is looking like. Understand or not? Okay. Here A D is equal to A C. Right. Understand? Okay. And C D join. C D join. C D join. Okay. Understand? So this is the construction. Let us prove. Let us prove. You see, and uh, in the triangle ADC, in triangle ADC, what are we finding here? AD is equal to AC. It means ADC is an isosceles triangle. AD is equal to AC. If the two sides are equal, so their Angle opposite equal sides are equal, so this angle is equal to this angle. Suppose this is angle number one, this is angle number two. Okay, if this angle is x, this angle is also x. Understand? That implies one angle, one angle is equal to which angle? Two angle. Why? Because angles opposite to equal sides. Angles opposite to Opposite to equal side are equal. Yes or no? Yes or no? Angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So one angle means which angle? One angle. Understand? Means A C which angle? D angle. And two angle means which angle? A D C angle. A D C angle. A D C angle. Understand or not? This is one of the concept. This is one of the concept. Okay, so this concept we prove it that this is number one. Let's see. And again, you see students, and you see now. What are we seeing here? See whole angle, this angle, and this angle. Which angle? This one, B C D angle. You see. This is suppose B. This is D, and C. This is D. B C D angle, and here C A is the divider. 
so total angle this angle is one angle so this whole angle it means bc d angle must be greater than one angle must be greater than one angle because what because what because this one angle is a part of bc d angle so understand because a is an interior point because a is an interior point so bc d angle must be greater than which angle ac b angle is it clear is it clear so again again b c d angle is greater than which angle which angle one angle greater than one angle why why because because a is an interior point because c a is the divisor of the angle c a is the divisor of angle b c d angle okay so whole angle must be the greater than the part this is dividing the line c a dividing the angle b c d into two equal part into two part not equal part two parts so so b c d angle greater than one angle understand so that implies b c d angle b c d angle greater than what one angle and one angle which angle is equal to two angle Yes or no? So one angle is equal to two angle. Yes or no? Yes. So BCD angle is equal to one angle greater than one angle, and so BCD angle greater than one angle, and one angle equal to two angle. Now let's see. Now you see BCD angle. BCD angle. Okay. Greater than two angle. Yes or no? That implies BCD angle. Is two angle means which angle? Which angle? C D A angle or C D B angle? We can write C D C D B angle. This is the third point we are getting. Very important point we are getting. Okay, understand? Now let's see. B C D angle is greater than. This is the we are getting. Point number two. So BCD angle means BCD angle means this whole angle greater than what CDB angle. Understand? Okay. Is it clear? Understand? Now let's see. In the triangle, in triangle BCD, BCD is a triangle. Listen. In this triangle, we got the BCD angle is greater than which angle? C D B angle. Okay, if one angle is greater than other angle, then according to property, if two angles are on equal, then the side opposite to the greater angle is always greater, and the side opposite to the smaller angle is always smaller. Yes or no? Yes or no? So the side opposite to the greater angle B C D angle which side? B C D angle. B C D angle which angle? B C D angle. What is the opposite side? Is B D? Yes or no? B D is greater than C D B angle. Opposite side what? B C B C. Yes or no? So you understand? Yes. We saw now the B D greater than B C. B D greater than B C. So B D greater than B C means B D is equal to what? B A plus what? AD is greater than what? BC. That implies can written BD is equal to this whole BD is equal to BA plus AD. Can you write or not? Yes or no? So BA plus BA means AB and AD means what? AC is greater than BC. Greater than BC. Thus one point you prove. Okay. Is it clear? Thus we prove that. A B plus A C greater than B C. First point is true. First point is true. Understand? Is it clear? Okay. Similarly, we can prove also A B plus B C is greater than A C. Second part. Understand? A B plus B C greater than A C. It means what is the common vertex B? So the common vertex B should be extended. For the construction, we do another construction. V is the common vertex. Are the vertex B? Okay, one of the side will be extended. 
okay the construction is that after that we shall get ab plus bc since you see here carefully ab plus ac a is the common vertex so a is the common vertex is ab is one of the sides so b a is extended similarly ab plus bc is greater than ac ab and bc is the common vertex is b so so one of the side ab is extended at the vertex b so we can get ab plus bc greater than ac can you check can you check yes let's see okay this is understood okay let's see okay let's see let's check it let's check it similarly a uh, second bit you have to prove that we have to prove second bit look at here look at here and if this is the abcd triangle here abcd triangle abc and we have to prove what first we have to prove what ab plus what bc is greater than ac here what is the common vertex b so one of the side bc is extended one of the side bc is extended because b is the common vertex so b a is ab is extended ab is extended understand or not yes or no and up to the point what up to the point suppose m such that b m is equal to what bc and here c m is joined yes or no understand so here is the construction is that for this we have to do another construction what is the construction ab is produced ab is extended extended up to what m such that such that what such that bm is equal to what bc and cm is join cm is join okay and also let us prove this part let us prove this one okay and you see in the triangle bmc in triangle bmc look at here bm is equal to bc bm is equal to bc two sides are equal so the opposite angles are equal so bm or opposite angle suppose angle number 2 3 and this angle number bc opposite angle 4 it means three angle is equal to four angle three angle is equal to four angle this is point 1 you see again one second the whole angle means acm angle this acm angle is greater than what which angle three angle is or no yes or no okay again you clearly see acm angle is greater than three angle yes or no understand yes that implies acm angle acm angle is greater than three angle means which angle four angle so instead of we can write acm angle greater than four angle now acm angle you see now acm angle is greater than four angle means which angle means c amc angle yes or no yes or no so acm angle in place of four angle i can write amc angle amc angle understand now let us see in the triangle acm so total acm angle is greater than what this angle so angle opposite to greater side what am so am must be greater than what must be greater than what amc angle opposite angle ac yes or no okay yes or no in the triangle acm you see this angle opposite side what am and this angle opposite side ac so am is greater than ac again you see am is equal to ab plus what vm ab plus vm ab plus vm is greater than what ac understand so that implies ab plus bm means what bc greater than ac is it clear is it clear so ab plus bc is greater than ac we prove okay understand 
is it clear so first point what you prove here first point you got ab plus ac e is greater than vc and second bit we already prove it what ab plus vc is greater than what ac and third bit we have to prove that ac plus bc is an what ab it means c is the common vertex c is the common vertex so are the vertex c one of the side ac or vc we have to extend we have to construct extended by constructing similarly we can prove also similarly we can prove okay similarly you can prove let's see so third bit you have to prove okay we have to prove the third bit look at here ac plus to prove what ac plus bc is greater than what ab similarly we have to extend one of the side bc or ac at the vertex c at the vertex c let's see Yes or no? Okay. Let's draw triangle ABC. Let's draw triangle ABC. Give the name ABC. Here are the vertex. Yes or no? So one of the side can be extended. You see. And uh, see the common vertex. You see here. See the common vertex. So one of the side BC. Suppose BC I will extend. BC will extend. Up to the point what? Up to the point suppose N. So that C n is equal to what? A C and N join. N join. Understand? Okay. Is it clear? Now see in the triangle A C N. You see A C is equal to C N. So this angle must be equal to this angle. Suppose four angle is equal to five angle. Again, you see the whole angle. Which angle? Here than four angle. Similarly concept. Okay. Let's prove. Let's prove. Now. In triangle, in triangle A, which triangle? In triangle ACN, look at here, and AC is equal to CN. They are similar, two sides are equal. So their opposite angles, five angle is equal to four angle. Angle opposite equal sides are equal. Understand? Okay. Now again you see, again you see the B, this total angle, this angle. P A N angle. This whole angle must be greater than four angle. Yes or no? Yes. So B A N angle again. B A N angle is greater than what? Four angle. Why? Because A C is the divisor of the angle B A N. Understand or not? Yes or no? So that implies B A N angle is equal greater than four angle. Is which angle? Five angle. So four angle instead four angle we can write five angle. That implies B A N angle is greater than five angle means which angle? Which angle? A N B angle or B N A angle we can write B N A angle. Understand? Okay. So that implies B A N angle. B A N angle opposite side word B N. You see now B A N angle opposite side word B N. Okay. Must be greater than B N A angle. B N A angle. What is the opposite side? A B. Yes. Yes or no? Right. Understand. So B N is equal to what? You see carefully. B N is equal to B C plus C N. B C plus C N. So B C plus C N is greater than A B. Understand or not? Okay. So that implies. BC plus CN means what? AC. Is then AB. Okay. Thus we prove in three cases. So three different type of construction will by drawing the construction. Okay. In three cases, all the cases it is proved that. What do you prove in the triangle ABC? AB plus BC is greater than AC in the first cases. Second case is what? AB plus what? AB plus AC is greater than BC, and third case is what do you prove? BC plus AC is greater than AB. Thus, this important property is already okay. We proved it that uh, the sum of two and sum of the two sides.
the sum of any two sides of triangle is always greater than third side. This is one of the most important concept and statement of the triangle. This is one of the most properties of the important property of triangle. Understand or not? Okay. And it has also wide application. Okay. To prove the various geometrical properties. And next class we shall see. Till then, thank you. Okay. Practice it. Okay. Thank you.